Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Arise a Talent. How are you, students? I am your maths faculty, Arpita Sharma. Students, we were discussing construction, and in construction, we have divided lines. We have made similar triangles. Okay, and in similar triangle section, what we were discussing, we have made a triangle where m by n ratio is given, and the value of m is less than that of n. Now. we have to deal with the construction where the value of m is smaller okay or greater right so what we have done we have discussed the m is smaller right now we have to discuss that m is greater than n right okay so let's have a look here m is greater this is the ratio given i am direct jumping on this ratio because this ratio is important right when you are making a star triangle similar okay so this 5 by 3 having m equals to 5 and n equals to 3 now m is greater than 3 or n so we have dealt with the previous situation so we can obviously deal with that one also but what we have to do we have to just draw a rough diagram of this given uh, whatever question or problem so i am having some triangle a b c now i have to construct a similar triangle to given triangle abc is sides equal to 5 by 3 now this triangle is what somewhat bigger than that so it will be c dash and there will be a b dash and we having that uh, triangle c dash b dash a and a c b or a b c and these two triangles will be similar okay so how will make that so we'll be using a different approach in that the complete procedure if there is a uh, the complete procedure is same but what have changed is just a little thing and we'll look at uh, into it so i'm just drawing it somewhat here like there okay so this is a and this is your b and this is c and b dash and c dash and this is your let's say b and c so we have to deal with that only okay students so what i'm doing i'm not provided with a side so i'm free to use any side as my triangle right okay so what i'm doing i'm having this triangle of so i will use this brown color chalk for the given triangle and for the construction i'll use the yellow okay so here a uh, for it's a, it's a it's a slippy day right so i'm having this right now i'm having this line straight ab ab no ac okay now i am having because i am not given with the angle a angle b angle c i am free to do whatever i want to do so i am having this uh, triangle like this okay now having this point as b what i'll do i'll meet that rest right and having a straight now they having these two three points a b c and i'm having this triangle over there so what i have to do i have to uh, part it in the ratio 5 by 3 5 by 3 now which is greater 5 m equals to 5 and equals to 3 which is greater 5 so what will i be uh, doing that i'll be having an acute angle ray with this ac so acute angle the angle which is less than 90 degree so 90 degree is this so it will be less so it will be like this only so i can uh, have any angle any means any so it's a construction part so i am dropping this one i'll be using a different color yellow chalk for that right so that you can have your idea that what is given and what is drawn what is constructed okay so i'm having this um x point here so it is a ray ax okay so mind my ray this is x okay so this is a ray ax i have drawn so 
I'm having five. I'm equals to five years. So what will I do, students? I have this compass and draw like one, two, three, four, five parts. Okay, because five is maximum. So this is five. So I'll draw like have any any arc or any uh, radius length here. Okay, so one. Two, then three, four, and five. But the three, the three is the ratio which is of A B C. So what I have to do is, in the previous one, I will be I will be meeting this A five. I'm I forgot to name it. This is A one. This is A two. A three and name it like A four and A five. Now in the previous section, I was be meeting. I was meeting this A five to the C. Now no, you don't need to do this. You need to pick the least. Least one is three. So you have to pick A three. If it's given with by uh, with five by two, I'll be picking A two. But I've given with five by three, so I'll be picking A three. So I will be meeting this A three to the C. So what will happen to this A five? We'll look it. Okay. So this A three to this C, I guess. Right. Okay. So students, we know that there can be, there will be an extension of C till C dash. So how will you make this? This extend the C. To some point C dash and the C dash is not uh, now you have not get that point but you just extend this line. Keep your line straight, right? Okay, so I'm extending this line. Now what I have to do? What I'm doing when I was uh, meeting this A five to C, I was making the same angle to three. So I'll be doing the same. I'll be making the same angle to a five point student. Learn this. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember this. So I'll be using my compass, my favorite uh, tool here. So I'll be just having an arc there, and write also at a five also right. So I'll be doing this. So what I have to do? I have to measure this angle. Okay. I'll measure this angle like this, and this is. Yes, exact like this. Okay, so I'll be having this. Oh four. Okay, so I'm having this intersection point here. So what I'm going to do? I'll meet this A five to this intersection uh, point and then extend this so that it uh, it can cut the extension of AC to a, a particular point. So I'll be using my scale here, right? So by this help of scale, I'll be meeting A five. To the intersection point, right? So it's point of intersection, and it's A five, right? So that will be like this. So I have to extend it, right? Okay, I'll extend. So I'll extend that only. And this only. So these two lines will meet at a some uh, at a particular point, na? Isn't it? Yes or no? Okay. So it will meet here at that particular point, and I will call it C dash. Right, students. So I'm making this angle. So I'll be having this AC and CC dash such that this is uh, this is M, this is five, and this is Three. So basically, this is three by two, or I can say like this is five and this is three. Okay, students. Now what I'll, uh, I do? I'll be making this again at this particular angle also, na? So how will my uh, how will be I uh, making this? I should have this A C B equals to this what? A C dash B dash. So there I can get, uh, have a point here. So I'll be doing that only with the help of this. Particular compass. Okay, so at this particular point C, I'll be having any arc. Okay, now I'll do with that the same manner. Right, students. Now what will I do? I'll measure this. Okay. 
okay. So, I am having the same point here. Now, what will I do? Tell me what will do having your geometry box or not? If not, then post this video and you will continue after that only, okay. Okay, students. So, I will extend it, right. I will extend it, right. And again, right students and I am having an extension of this AB also. So, okay, extension of AB. This is, you know, this has made a good triangle, right. Just do not you know, randomly need them, let them intersect by their own, okay. Just do not draw random lines if your uh, triangles are not meeting, okay. So, forget about this particular line, do not mind this, right. So, I am having this point B dash here. So, it is looking like similar, if you can just uh, have a look on that, it is looking exactly similar, this A, B, C is exactly similar to A, B dash, C dash. Now, you can see that I am using this, these particular uh, instruments, tools which are actually of uh, you know some having some issues like uh, it slips on this but when you are going to draw it uh, in your paper you are going to have the exact similar triangles exact having you have, will be having exact angles okay so it's very good students because in geometry questions you are having that uh, you just can measure the things like if uh, you have given that uh, uh, particular side equals to 8 centimeter, then you know that that, uh, that will be uh, divided by 5 by 3. You can uh, divide it in this ratio and you can calculate it whether you have uh, done it correct or not. So, if you have done it correctly, so you will be getting full marks. Okay. So, for this point of view, this is very important. So, make this so that we can move forward because we have done with the similar triangles but we have not only studied triangles we have also studied circle students so we have to go through the tangent section also so we'll be coming on that have patience so should i rub this yeah yes or no okay well this was a beautiful triangle so i was like okay but i have to now to construct a tangent, think of a not double right. To construct a triangle, uh, to construct a tangent to a circle to a given point on it using the center of the circle. Now, students, if you do not know what the tangent is, go to my lecture which is circle. Okay, the circles, and you can have the complete information of tangents here, parts of circle there, right, students. Then the second thing is, if you are not able to remind, I am just having the idea if this is circle, let us assume this is a perfect circle, okay. And if I am uh, drawing a tangent here at this particular point, so the tangent is basically a, a ray or line or line segment that just, just touches the circle, okay. And it will be having a 90 degree. If you if you have a radius over that point, that will be at the 90 degree of this tangent, what you call, call it. So, okay. So, this is the relation. Okay. So, you have to uh, make it like this only. Na? If you are having a point here, so you will be making this point P or this, uh, ray, uh, this line. Okay. Let us suppose x, y such that this x, y is basically what? If this center is O, then it should be perpendicular to what? O, P. Okay, so I will use the same concept. Now you have, you should know how to make a 90 degree angle student. Okay, so you don't know. So I, I am telling you here about some of the angles. Okay, students. So the angles are what? If I am having this line, now be very, you know, active and concentrated on what I am telling you because I am not going to tell 
you again and again for this because uh, in my opinion in your 10th standard so you have to know this all these angle things right so if i have to make on this line i'm having a point let's suppose o right now i have to make angle what 60 degree okay so what will i do i'll put this here on the point and will cut an arc the complete arc of 180 degree now students be very careful about it i am not changing this radius if you think that uh, you have done by mistake uh, you mistakenly have done this like uh, you the, you have just shifted this arc this uh, this radius to anything else then you can just measure this point to this point and be like that only okay so if you just put this arc on this point and cut an arc on this arc previous arc then this point is what 60 degree point here you will be having 60 degree angle now if you add if you have this here and cut an arc again on this previous arc you will be having a 120 degree angle here 60 degree plus 60 degree 180 degree sorry 120 degree and 120 degree plus 60 degree again is what what 180 degree so basically this 180 degree is divided in three parts so each part equals to 60 degree okay now if i cut this two arcs i will be just dividing this okay if i am dividing them then it will be mid of it now mid of 60 degree is what 30 degree now the 60 degree plus this 30 degree will give you what 90 degrees so how will you do that you will just have the point here and cut a mark here and have that point here and cut an arc here now what if you are having the scale so you can just make this o and these intersection points if you will meet them this will be a 90 degree angle okay and now if you make this point this is the previous first point that will be 60 degree now so that will be your 60 degree angle that is your 60 degree angle now if you go for 120 degree you have this so sorry you are having this 60 degree this 90 degree and this complete angle equals to what students 120 degree okay students so mark this now we are going to use it to make tangents because what tangents is perpendicular to radius dear students right so what the steps are uh, saying us to uh, do it's step one take a point o okay on a plane of a paper so we are not having any paper we are having a green board here right so and draw a circle of given radius now you have to draw a circle of given radius let's suppose we are having any radius we are free to suppose r if you are given with the radius what will you do what will you do if you are given with the radius let's say i'm um, 10 my 10 is marking here your 10 is much more smaller in your scale i know that so just assume if you are having that 10 in your scale mark it that way only okay so you are having this okay now what you have to do you have to just loosen first lose it and then mark this uh, for 10 and not there slightly different this is okay so mm -hmm. so okay students this is my 10 from the scale so i will what tighten it up so that will be 10 okay students that will be 10 radius 10 and i'll be having a circle drawn so if i'm having I will be put a dot on my paper ok and if the radius is 10 given I will be having this point here and will what rotate this on the complete 360 degree taking care of this that my radius should not be changed and I am having this choke choke right so due to this choke my uh, you know radius can be disturbed like this because we are having what two edges of chalk but in 
in your pencil what you use pencil now so in pencil you are having a sharp edge of pencil so students this is your circle with the center this is your center if you can find it this is o so i have made a particular i have uh, chosen a particular radius let's suppose 10 cm okay and you are having some scale and this is uh, this the that 10 10 cm is way too short from this so have that keep in your mind okay so i am using the proportions here right students so o is here now it's saying take a point p on the circle now i have to, i am free to have any point p let's say uh, my point is here so i'll have this point here my point p is here okay so you just do it on your paper then join op now i have to join this o to this p so what will it be it will be the radius students right so okay so i am joining this this o center o to the point p right okay students so this is what i've got this radius i've got now join op construct angle o p t equals to 90 degree now o is here p is here so let's have t which is 90 degree so i just okay students so this is the radius op and i have taken it like this only now it's your radius now you have to make 90 degree angle so don't be stereotyped that man ma'am you have told me that that op was straight it it should be straight no you just have to follow the procedure only okay so what will you do you'll have your compass and make a 90 degree angle how just okay then first arc 60 degree second arc what 120 degree and the upside arc and from 120 degree arc will be having again an arc and will be having a point there right now i am having a point here and i am having a point here so i will be what i will be just joining them right okay so i'll be joining it with a different choke right students so i'll be having this point and i'll be having mm -hmm, slightly here this point and this points so i'll be having this line here right i can extend it okay students <laughs> so this is my line now that was o p and what o p and t i guess hmm circle construct o p t so angle o p t so that is a point there is a point which is t now produce t p to t dash to get t p dash now i have i have just done that okay some point t dash is here so this is a basically a line and i have just uh, named some point t and t dash here okay so as a required tangent so this is what this t t dash is what your required tangent so this blue construction is actually what you have to make so this is now 90 degree to this so that will be the tangent here students right how how many tangents for a revision how many tangents can you draw on this particular point p only one tangent t t dash no other than that okay students you can make any uh, one more tangent parallel to this tangent that will be here right there okay parallel to this one we have done that all things in your oh sorry in your previous uh, part that was circles right okay now this is something this was the you know illustration of that particular thing and here we have this so these are same that was in that side and that was in that side so you can have that your point p just you know horizontal on this side or that side or upside or downside whenever you want to okay so what is next next is to construct two tangents 
it was one tangent okay we have to construct only one tangent now you have to construct a uh, two tangents to a circle from a point outside i have told you from one point on the circle you can only have one tangent but if you are having point outside the circle then from that outside to that circle you can have two tangents right there okay using center of the circle so how we going to do this okay so here is a procedure we will follow that procedure and we will finally have our solution like this okay students so we are having these steps so step 1 take given circle and the point p outside the circle so first you have to make the circle okay how you'll make the circle you'll have a center o and you'll be doing the same thing the circle thing and you'll be having a outside point from here okay so o is the center of the circle now join op you have to join that how do you do that i'm having any radius uh, any random radius okay so right i'm having any a random radius for my circle and I am drawing it like uh, should I have some point there so that I can have a reference right this is my center now from my center okay okay so resolve this right so I was having the center and I will draw a circle to this center don't go anywhere don't slip right okay so i'm having the center mm -hmm. and from the center it's a little bit slippery okay students so you'll be uh, having only one line if you're having two lines like this here one line two line that means your radius of your compass is changing so take care of that thing you don't need to do that okay so i have created this o center now i am having any point p outside the circle let's suppose this is outside or p outside right okay now join o to p what i have to do i have to join o to p this is o and this is p so i will join that for sure So, yes, students, I am joining them, right? Okay, just a minute and I am done with that. So, here is my point P. I have marked this point as P. Okay, so this is my point P. I have shifted it. Right, now bisect OP. Now, how to bisect a line? If you are having this line, so, how will you bisect it? You will simply have your compass over there. You will having this uh, point here and cut that mark and here and cut that mark again. Now, always remember that should be more than the half of your length of your side. Okay. So, up and downwards. Now, again with that point up and downwards and you will be waiting these two points. So, same I will be using with this. If this is the complete uh, length of the side I will be using just more than half of that okay and I will be tightening the compass and then what, what will I do I will just bisect them I will bisect OP like this and from there then a four so I am getting these two points right students so I will be just what I will be meeting them so this point and this point these two points now what is the property of this bisector this bisector is perpendicular to this given line and also divide or bisect that op into equal parts that the word we use bisector okay dividing in two equal parts right now 
bisect OP and get its midpoints. Now, midpoint which is M. Okay. Now, it's saying draw circle with center M. Radius equals to PM, PO or MO. So, I am having the center M and with radius equals to PM or PO. So, P is here and M is here. So, I am going to use this all this as radius. So, radius with center M, right? So, I am having this and I will be having radius equals to and I will draw a circle and I will do the same the downsides to make the complete circle here, right. Okay, so this is the complete circle that I have to make. Now, what I have to done? Circle drawn meets the given circle at Q above PO. Now, above PO, this is P and O. So, it is uh, it's meeting its at Q here at Q and Q dash just there, the downwards at Q, uh, Q dash, Q dash below this PO. Okay. Join PQ and PQ dash. Now, what you have to do? Join P, this was our external point to Q dash and Q. So, I am doing this with this um, which color? Pink color chalk, right? So, that will be what? This P and this is this is P students and this is Q. Okay. Again, P and Q and draw this line again for P and Q dash have that line. I am darkening that line. You do not need to darken your line. Do your work with only one uh, line only. I just need to show it to you so that I am darkening it. So, you will be having this PQ and PQ dash. Now, this PQ and PQ dash are what? These are the tangents you have to draw. So, join PQ and PQ dash. PQ and PQ dash are the required tangents drawn to the circle. Q, okay. So, Q to P, D should be equal now. So, in my scale, it is 14.16 and 7. 14.7, it's coming, right. And if you go there, Okay, so again this length PQ dash is what? 14.7. So, you will see by your construction this theorem that you have read in your uh, the particular chapter circle. In chapter circle, we have gone through with this theorem. If you are having an outside point P in circle and you have drawn the two tangents right over the circle, then these tangents will be equal. Then that theorem is again proved by this construction students. Now, PQ is equals to PQ dash. That means also your construction is correct. Okay. It's really very correct students. Right students? Okay. So, students, this is enough. I guess this is enough for uh, today. Now, what you have to do? Have some radius. Okay. And have that uh, point uh, on the circle and draw a tangent on it. because exercise is good for health students. So, we will meet in next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.